One of the biggest problems that we experience in real estate is our database and having it organized and creating a marketing plan that actually creates a lot of results. So let's take a look at this bad boy. Some of you may know that I've referred to as there's three assets that a real estate agent can build that literally could be sold and or rented out for a profit. Meaning you can go on vacation for a year and still create income. One of those assets is your database. Now I've broken that down into one category that I want to address today, your past clients and your sphere of influence, not including your vendor list, agent referrals, just past clients and sphere. Let's take a look at, so the question is how do you have them organized in your CRM? Is there tags? Is there a label? Is there a category depending on what system? Google contacts, Yahoo, hopefully not. Uh, I, you know, I contacts with Apple, right? Or a CRM, a Boomtown or a Sierra or a, you know, a um, contactually, right? We've got to look at how do you have them organized? Key principle that really I've always been thinking through is I want that cat tag or label category to be something that calls me into action. Right. And so we want to have a label that says, Hey, these are your past clients. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, we all know that we should be contacting our past clients at least minimum four times a year, either a phone call, some type of communication. We should be doing some type of event where we would invite all of those past clients. Right. So we should also be sending them marketing messages, email and or direct mail. So step number one is, okay, do we have all of our past clients in one category? And then do we have what's referred to as a complete contact? First, last name, you know, spouse's name, maybe some notes with some kids information. Then do we have cell phone, email, physical address, very important for our past clients. And then from there, it's, you know, is there anything else of interest? Are they an investor? or are, you know, maybe there's an additional tag that might be there for these guys. They live in a city X that is in our farm, right? Or, you know, they're a, a, an influencer. So there might be additional tags, but at least they're underneath the main category, right? And so we've got a marketing plan for that category. We've got a communication plan for that category. And so we can just open up the CRM, everybody in my past clients, and we can just get to work there. Okay. Do you have that set up at the minimum standard? Okay. Now, can we get fancy and sexy and get a little creative? Absolutely. Right. And that's where we're dealing with, you know, are they, is there maybe an additional tag called geographic farm name? Right. So for me, it's sphere of influence, right? I'm sorry, Solana beach. Um, could they be, could there be an influencer, someone who is a HR manager, and they run a huge company inside of town. So they have a lot of people coming in and out of town. So they're an influencer, meaning I should probably give them a little extra attention, right? They're in my past clients and they're an influencer. Okay, they're a past client, they're in my sphere. They're a past client and they have, they have referred me business, right? Referral source, maybe, however you wanna label it. See. We, we all got to start with this top major level category, and then we might add in some additional little qualities here. What I've noticed a lot when I look at people's databases, we have a lot of these little categories, but we don't have them underneath the main category. Okay. So it's all about defining it. How do you define what that category is? And then what is the action plan? So I might have past client farm. And so if some cool event is happening in the farm, I've got a new listing in the farm. I've got something great to report in the farm. I can always go to, I could A, just go to my farm category, but I also would probably want to start with my past clients in my farm and make a phone call to them because it's high priority. So if I had a new buyer coming into the farm and there's nothing available, I'm definitely going to call my past clients in my farm first. Hey guys. Hey, it's Patrick. I got this amazing family that wants to move into our neighborhood. 
I wanted to just check in with you. I'm trying to hustle a little bit extra for these guys. Do you know anyone in the neighborhood who's thinking about selling any hints, any opportunities that you can think of? Right? Okay. I could also, in my sphere of influence in the farm, so let's talk about sphere of influence. Same thing. I have sphere of influence in San Diego. I have sphere of influence in Solana Beach. I have my sphere of influence who might be an influencer. And so inside of my sphere of influence, these are people that we're trying to uh, create business for the first time with them. And we're also trying to increase the number of referrals from that group. Okay, so again, complete contact. Now in my sphere, there might be all kinds of categories. Live in my farm, renting a property, investor, influencer. So there, you know, in the sphere, there might be multiple additional tags and labels that give us an action plan, right? So again, let's just use that simple example of, um, you know, we have a buyer coming into the farm. Wow, well, I'd start with my past client in the farm to see if anyone, they know anyone. Then I might call my sphere of influence in the farm to see if they know anyone. That would be a very powerful use of our time. So if we really just look, I want you just to be thinking about, okay, the big categories and then underneath, is there additional labels or tags that might help out in an action plan, in a marketing plan, in a communication plan that increases our results. So this is a good start for you to be thinking about what are the major topics, right? I've got real estate agents that are in San Diego and I got real estate agents that are out of San Diego. I got real estate agents that are friends of mine. I got real estate agents who are top producers. So I got realtors and then I got a couple other little additional actions here. If I had a big question to you guys, hey, what is everybody doing right now with X? I might send a message to my realtor, top agent, friends and go, hey guys, what are you guys doing? So I recently was trying to figure out the virtual open house strategy, right? And looking at the San Diego MLS. Well, I might go, okay, my realtor friends in San Diego, like, hey guys, how are you guys doing this? What are you doing? I'd love to figure this out. See, the tags and the categories and the labels give us the opportunity to create very, very succinct messaging to specific people that will increase our results and make this thing infinitely more efficient. I hope this kind of simple general overview is helpful for you. It's more about the principles than it is about the specifics in this game. Okay. Have a great day. Let me know if there's anything I can be doing to help. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please leave a comment below, you know, with a question or anything that you need help with in the area of past client sphere, with labeling, with CRM. Leave a question, leave a question or a comment below. I'd appreciate that. And I will, I will look forward to answering your question if you put it there. Have a great day. Let me know if I can help.